Hi friends! I have a story about trains for you today. Do you see this train back here? This is a big one. My train story is called The Little Engine That Could. Maybe you've heard it before. This is a story by Waddy Piper. There's a train. Looks like it's going down a big hill. Hmm. There's their whole town. There they all are. Right, make the train sounds with me, right? Like chug 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 choo choo. We're gonna go chug chug down the track. Chug puff puff. Ding dong ding dong. The little train rumbled over the track. She was a happy little train, for she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for girls and boys. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls, Dolls with brown eyes and brown bobbed heads and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys or girls could want. Huh, pretty cool train. I bet you wish that train would drive by your house. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, mm. red cheeked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast, fresh, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops and lollipops for after meal treats. Holy, this train has everything you could want. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily. Then, all of a sudden, she stopped with a jerk. Well, she simply could not go another inch. She tried and she tried, but her wheels would not turn. Oh no! Sounds like a problem. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? Ah. Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the drain. Let us ask him to help us. Oh, maybe that's a way to solve their problem. So all the dolls and toys cried out together. They're all going to yell to the shiny new train for help. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Do you think it's going to work? Do you think the train's going to help? What do you think? Yes or no? It would be nice if that train, maybe. But the shiny new engine snorted. Hmm. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car where waiters bring whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit in front of it, people sit in soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I pull the likes of you. Indeed not. Well, that's not very nice. Were you right? Did you think that it wouldn't pull that train? You were right then. And off he steamed to the roadhouse where engines live when they are not busy. Like Thomas's house, right? Where he is in Percy. They all have their little house, their train station. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. There's a feeling, make a sad face. Good. 
Then the little clown called out, the passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Ooh, he's thinking of another way to solve his problem. Here is another engine coming. Oh, look, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag, wave your flag. And the big strong engine came to a stop. Do we think this one's gonna help this time or this one won't help either? What do you think? Make your guess. Please, oh please, big engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the big strong engine bellowed, huh, I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you. Jeepers creepers, were you right that time? Did you guess? Surprised. I'm really surprised that these engines won't help. And the freight engine puffed off indignantly to the roadhouse. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. This time they're very sad. <laughs> no. Cheer up, cried the little toy clown. Oh, he's always in such a good mood. The freight engine is not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag, wave it. And the dingy, rusty, old engine stopped. Okay, make your guess. This train gonna help? or a third train in a row not gonna help. Make your guess. Okay. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any choice to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed, make a sigh. <sighs> I'm so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Doesn't believe in himself. Thinks he's too old and too tired. And off he rumbles to the roadhouse chugging. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. What was your guess? Were you right? Then, indeed, the little train was very, very sad. So this time he was very, very sad. Ugh, makes me cry. And the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, here is another engine coming. A little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. Okay, take your guess. What do you think? Is she gonna help? Or a fourth one now that's not going to help. What do you think? Okay, the very little engine came chug chugging merrily along. When she saw the toy clown's flag, do your flag, she stopped quickly. What is the matter, my friends? She asked kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and good boys and girls on the other side won't have any choice to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please help. Let's see. Please, please help us, little blue engine. Hi, I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They use me only for switching trains in the yard. I have never been over the mountain. Ooh, I don't know. But we must get over the mountain before the children awake, said
said all the dolls and the toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the dolls' eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or good food unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train. There's their little hitch. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged. And slowly, 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 very slow, they started off. The toy clown jumped aboard and all the dolls and toy animals began to smile and cheer. Their feelings are changing. Buff, buff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. Okay, say it with me. He's gonna, she, she's gonna say she thinks she can, right? Ready? I think I can. And I think I can say it. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Oh, so was your guess right? Did you think she would help? She did end up trying to help. She's trying. Okay, let's do it a few more times. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Up, up, up. Faster and faster and faster and faster the little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city. Woohoo! Hooray, hooray! cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. Thank the engine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say, as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, 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 I thought I could. <laughs> and she did. Pretty neat. So how many trains did they try to get to help them? I gave you a hint, didn't I? I gave it away. There were four different trains that, that they asked for help, right? All the toys and the clown, even, they asked everyone, all those different trains to help. Four different trains, right? So first, do you remember what the first one was? It was a shiny new engine, right? So it's like what color? Like a gold. All right, what was the second one? Because he said no, right? Um, oh, I think I remember. It was that really strong one, right? The first one, the gold one, pulled people. All different kinds of um, cars for people where they could eat, where they could sit, right? I think there were sleeping cars. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right, this one was a great big strong one. Yeah, there's that one. What color is that one? Mostly like a black one. He was a freight engine, wasn't he? He pulled the big train loaded with big machines. Oh my goodness, big strong one, a freight engine. All right, the last one was the little blue one that did it, right? She was successful, she got the job done. So what's our third one? Do you remember what was after the big strong one? That's the little blue one. I must have passed it. Oh, this one is another, what color? Black one. But he was so um, old and tired, he couldn't do it. Then the last one was the little blue train. Nice job remembering those different parts, going back through those different parts with me. All right, one more. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Ready? Do it with me. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. <laughs> nice job, boys and girls. See you next time.